shut my helmet, and that was it. We were serious. That's an awesome feeling, I think, when you overcome a battle and you win. I guess for me, when I knew I had that competitive spirit was when I was racing dirt track early on, like really early on when I was 12 years old. You know, I'd get out there and I didn't do very well at first, but you know, I, I knew I wanted to beat those guys, you know, and I just, and it got better and better, but I was, I finished, I don't know, last for a long time when I was like 12 years old doing dirt track, you know, but, uh, but I knew I really wanted it. I don't know if it's the same for you or not, but. For me, it was things like, it was, if I knew I wasn't good at something, you know, if it was basketball, if it was football, whatever, if I wasn't good at it and I got beat, I didn't have a problem with it. But if I knew I was decent at it and somebody beat me, it really pissed me off. And just like now, if I go ride with a couple buddies bicycling or if they're better up a hill or sprinting or whatever it is, you know, a, a good buddy of mine, if it's, we do something and he's, he's close to me or a little bit better, I'll go and start doing sprint intervals on a bicycle to get stronger so I can beat him worse and, or he doesn't beat me again. And, and I'll go, uh, if it's ping pong and he beats me by two or three, I'll go buy a ping pong table and I'll start practicing. I right. mean, it's, uh, that's how I've always <laughs> been with, with not so much team sports. I have fun with that. But when, um, when it's just myself and I get beat doing something, if it's motorcycles, whatever, video games, and I feel like I'm pretty good at it, and they beat me, and then I have a hard time with it, and, and I do some secret training and, and uh, try to get better at it so it doesn't happen again. Yeah, that was the same with me. I used to train with um, some motocross guys, mm -hmm. and you know they would go, oh, you road race guys, you're a bunch of sissies. <laughs> well... That was the wrong thing to say, you know. They they kind of regretted that after that because I was out there every day, and then you know, of course, I had to go ride with them, bicycle with them. Yeah, so same same for me, absolutely. I like the the fans part of it, and I remember when I was a kid, and I would see, you know, I'd see a top racer go by, and I mean, I would be just in awe and. It's a little hard for me to accept when people are like that with me, because I'm I, I was like that with other people and still am. Mm -hmm. And when I see people, you know, almost crying and shaking when they're meeting me, it's like, <laughs> wow, you know, I'm I'm not that big of a deal. You know, I can ride a motorcycle, big deal. You know, you can probably spell better than me, whatever. <laughs> and uh, you know, it's just one of those things. People can do whatever they love to do. A lot of people mm -hmm. can do that really well. And and uh, it's. It's one of those things, the travel's hard with it. Um, the media part of it is, is, uh, is hard, but it's important. But it, it'll wear on some people. Some people love to do it. And the, the obligations is the hardest thing for me. It's what I know the, the sponsors need and what they want, and that's what I'm getting better at doing. But it's, that's the hardest part for me is, is doing the other things besides making the bike go you know fast around the track that's the that's the job for me is is not so much riding it's the the other stuff that goes with it yeah well for me it was a lot easier then because we probably had 50 percent less <clears throat> workload than you guys you know as far as <clears throat> the press goes so yeah we we kind of had it easy and then i didn't even want to do that <laughs> I've been asked that a lot, you know, what's it take to win a world championship? Well, it's such a combination of so many things. You know that you won a world championship. It's, it's a million little things, you know, and you have to do all these things right. So it starts from when you wake up in the morning to when you get the checkered flag. I mean, it's just so many little things. That's kind of how I answer it. I don't, I don't know, you might do a lot better. For me, last year was Last year was tough just because uh, I think everybody saw that there was a lot of 
kind of hardships and, and we had some bad luck and and uh but it, for me it was so different because i'd never traveled before so the traveling part was i mean even if i wasn't racing a motorcycle as much traveling as i did that was a huge change and then racing with uh with different guys i've never raced against the world superbike is different from GP. I mean, the, the caliper riders or the GP has has got the guys in it, so it wasn't wasn't easy by any means. But there were you know there were times that that at the the beginning of the race or or uh, I'd be sitting down with some friends and I've been called the over analyzer. You know, I plan too much. You know, I plan when I get up to do this and what I'm going to eat and and all this stuff and and. Uh, I'd say, okay, well, if I can do this lap time for for ten laps, he, this guy and this guy can probably stay there for seven or eight of them. But then it's gonna, you know, we can probably pop the rubber band and 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 win the race. But I got to be able to do this or or uh, just just things like that. And and then you know, being consistent is is the the biggest thing. But it's it was it was hard last it's year. It's just such a combination of things and and. Like you were saying, I'm sure you've been chased down when you're leading, and it's by point zero, pretty mm -hmm. much. Or you know, you you have uh, three tenths on a guy, and you've pushed, and there's five laps to go, and you push the absolute limit, and you think, I don't know if I can do four more laps like this, but you do them, mm -hmm. and somehow you end up doing them, and and you win, and that that's a world champion, you know, to be able to do those last four laps. And put in the last, the la your last lap was the fastest lap of the race. I've done that. I'm sure you've done that. And that's that's a world champion.